Welcome to Fiber Day at the Folk Arts Center on the Blue Ridge Parkway in Asheville, North Carolina. Fiber Day is the Southern Highland Craft Guild's annual celebration of textile arts, featuring craft demonstrations and hands-on activities. Guild artists donate their time and talents to share their love for fiber arts, from sheep shearing to tapestry weaving. Experience this free event each May at the Folk Art Center. I say that weaving is like painting, except you use your needles and uh, as your paintbrush and your yarns as your paints. Fiber is such a, an important part of our culture and continues to be, um, and these are processes that are part of our our language, part of our day-to-day -day life, and it's important to me to share this with other people so they know where their clothing comes from, how it's made, and the fact that people still do make fabrics and clothing from scratch. And uh, it's great for kids also, for them to know where their clothing begins. Clothing doesn't actually come from China. <laughs> it actually comes from the hands of people in America. I think it's, um, it regenerates you to be here and to be among other people that work with their hands and their minds and I think just talking with the public gives you a kind of a, a kind of a point of reference to go home and say oh I think the trend is going this way or uh, maybe I need to rethink certain things that I've been doing. I love to teach so it's a natural to be here sharing. Maybe someday somebody else will pick it up and keep weaving like this. The uh, sheep are built for cold weather. They do not do well in heat. So I like to support the guild because we do have a, a 10,000 year relationship with these animals that really's kind of gotten lost. And not just here, but kind of worldwide. So my part today hopefully is to certainly not to teach people how to shear sheep, but more of an awareness, both from an agricultural awareness and animal interaction awareness, care and management, but also why these animals are still important in today's world. The way that we're doing it today is really not a lot different uh, than what people have seen and what would have been done 3,000 years ago. It's a little greasy. Okay, all right. You can go look up the history of the wool trade. Here, when people go out the driveway, they're going to see broom sage, they're going to see rhododendron, they're going to see all those things that I've talked about and that I'm getting colors from. And, and, and they'll be able to see it with a new eye. Their eye, it, it'll give them better sight. They're, they'll really be looking at what they see and they'll really be understanding. 